ba 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 Notorious Nation, welcome to this video. Today I'm in my brand new YouTube room, a room dedicated just for YouTube in my house. And to break it in, I'm trying something huge. I, I couldn't think of what to do. I had all kinds of ideas. But in my live video last night, people were asking, what's my favorite food? And without a doubt, it's a good meatball sandwich. So I decided to do something crazy. I'm going to try to make a 10 foot meatball sandwich, 10 feet of meatball deliciousness. So I'm really not making this. I'm going to just reheat it. So I got a lot of sauce, got a ton of meatballs, tons of rolls. So let's see if I can build this thing and we'll break in this room right. So I got a big pot. We'll start with uh, 128 meatballs. This is a two pound pack. I have, I have two of these. Get some sauce in there. 24 ounces. Four and a half pounds just of sauce. This is the good red pepper. I ended up having 11 feet of rolls more than I thought, so I'm doing an 11 foot meatball sandwich. At this point, it looks so easy. What's another foot to a sandwich, right? Can't be that bad. Why not? All right, and what most likely will be my messiest video to date. Let's give this a go. <coughs> All right, start with the outer row. Mm. It's just good. Maybe ten and a half feet left. Oh, I can taste those red peppers. It's gonna be a while. This roll was incredibly chewy. It was at this point I knew I was going to be in for a long video. Much longer than I wanted, and everything started to go downhill from here. Mm. Wow. I think eight packets of that hot pepper sold too much. Ooh. My jaw is exhausted. It felt like my jaw had just chewed a marathon and had to chew two more marathons. And on top of that, my dogs were in the other room going crazy. I think I picked the wrong bun. The baguette roll I chose for the meatball sandwiches was much too chewy. Oh 
guys, it's not easy. Wow. If my jaw could cry, it would be crying right now. I felt like giving up at this point, but I decided to press on. Unfortunately, my cameras didn't, and I started to lose my cameras one by one. Eventually, four different ones turned off. I already lost one camera now. <sighs> I gotta get a chair to turn that camera on. Wow. Take a little nap. I'm a little tired today, but this thing is killing me. Any of you beard fans know that he's got an adjustable desk in, his, in the studio. Mine is fixed, it's on boxes right now, so I can't lower this. Definitely feels better sitting down. I don't think I stirred it up enough. Some spots there's a ton of red peppers. Other spots I don't taste it for like three, four inches. How long has it been? Like two hours? barely ate any food so far, but just my jaw is just, oh, I'm still trying to eat 11 feet, but I'm only halfway done. All right, we'll start with small things. I'll try to eat my height. So I have to eat six foot two at least. I'll just go with goals. This is not a good omen for breaking a new studio. Five feet left, six feet down, two more inches, and I eat my height. I'm gonna do meatballs first. Tell you what, this is making my McDonald's cheeseburger video or my Crystal hamburger video. My McDonald's hamburger or Crystal hamburger video look easy. And this is just, I can barely move my mouth. It has to be the dumbest idea of a video yet. Do not get baguette bread if you're doing it. Uh, eating stuff. How am I losing another camera? This video is not going well. Oh. Oh my gosh. I thought filming at restaurants was harder, but my gosh, things are not going well here. So I've eaten my height. 
want to give a shout out to Big Mac Mick, last week's Easter egg winner. Good luck to all those playing this week. Oh. This is not working out. Oh. There's so much more capacity, but I can't even think about chewing this. Almost every one of my YouTube videos, I've eaten much more food than I'm attempting to eat in this video. See if I can finish this. I am hurting. My jaw just did not want another bite of that baguette. While delicious, it was so chewy. This is gonna be it. Throw in the towel. I got whooped by this meatball sandwich. At 43 inches, or so I ate roughly seven and a half feet of this sandwich. The sauce, the cheese, the meat was all good. The roll was good too, but I got whooped by that bun. I mean, that was just so tough to chew, and it was killing me from right from the beginning. Uh, so, in my new YouTube studio, I'm zero wins, one loss. Sorry guys, but I will post this video to show you that I don't always eat everything in front of me. Thanks for coming to another one of my videos, and I'll see you guys again soon.